every scene is basically one take. So we've got, you know, five or six minute scenes with all of these actors moving around inside of a space and the camera moving through that and, and all of it having to work perfectly. There's so many things about shooting in VR that make it feel like a normal shoot. But then we have a bunch of really incredibly smart people huddled around the camera, basically thinking of problems that we hadn't thought of before. Because there was a lot of times where it felt like we were, you know, trying to build a house and we had rocks instead of hammers. You know, you don't shoot it the way you traditionally shoot a movie. There's no coverage. The entire shape of the shoot was much closer to, you know, like a, an FBI surveillance team than a traditional film shoot, right? Like you can't see the lights. You can't see the sound equipment. You can't see any of the crew. When you're capturing video, you're capturing video in the round, the full 360 experience. And you're combining multiple cameras that you're rigging in a configuration to be able to see a full 360 experience. So then the question is, how does the director actually see what's going on if he can't be in the shot? So we actually had a scene where uh, the director was buried underneath the tracks that we're using for the camera rig. I never thought in all my years as a producer that uh, I would ever bury a director voluntarily on his part. You know, it's kind of difficult to put, you know, I got a director hiding behind one tree, me hiding behind another tree, DP hiding behind another tree, and you know, keep in communication. Lighting challenges is like the most glaring because you gotta hide. There's monitoring challenges that come with that because everyone's gotta hide. Hide behind a tree. In the town, we had people hidden in cars and things like that. We had to either repurpose uh, tools that were made for film or for commercial shoots or for other stuff to use them for a VR shoot. And it's a lot of departments working together that I think a lot of times don't, like their worlds don't touch as much. The first week, every time we did a shot, it was kind of the first time somebody had done that. It's important to be able to bring those camera lenses physically close to one another. And so there is an advantage to some of the smaller camera systems such as the GoPro. When you move the camera, uh, you make that like hundreds of times more difficult. You know, moving the camera becomes a whole other technical challenge because we have to be able to paint out any device that we're using to move the camera. We're using a, a 24 foot slider to do a dolly pass, but at the same time, it's a motion control system. Basically every single shot in this show is motion control. We have robots moving the camera essentially. And all that stuff's exciting to me just because it feels like science fiction, right? Like I'm, I'm using robots to make my virtual reality movie. Like that would make 12 year old me just like cry with joy. It felt like through a combination of repurposed material, 3D printing and duct tape, we could make anything happen, but not easily. In most sets I go into, we're really focusing on one corner, one side of the room, and we can set and build in just that area. But now we're, every set is completely built, completely developed. Usually with a, with a regular show, we can cut and adjust angles so that we know everything is 100% safe. And that's the scary part is there's definitely a distance and we usually, when we aim the gun, we actually aim it off the actor, not actually directly at the actor. They're all workable problems, and, and a good film crew is, is kind of like a good heist movie crew, right? Like, they're, they're a group of weirdos who can figure out specific problems. I'm not showing you a sequence of pictures. I'm taking you through a series of locations. The audience can move around, you know, like, there's action everywhere. One of my favorite things is to watch someone put those glasses on for the first time and they just do this like, oh my God, where are my feet? Like they're just looking around. The immersive factor is like nothing else. That's the reason why I do it. Even though there are a lot of operational challenges, there, there's you gain so much in terms of the experience. This is something that 3D wanted to be. Until you've actually seen it, there's, there's no way to explain it to somebody, for someone else to kind of understand what you're talking about because it's so new. There is an energy on set that you get from everybody trying to figure out something new and sort of that, that whole idea of exploring unmapped territories like puts the crew in a state of mind where I think there is the opportunity to be bolder.